Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest video. We are now into June, which is known as LGBT Pride Month. Um, it's so known as LGBT Plus Pride Month because it's the month when the first Pride Parade started back many, many years ago. Um, the first Pride Parades were created to celebrate and commemorate the um, Stonewall Riots that happened in New York, um, which are it's seen as a key linchpin moment that started the modern LGBT plus rights movement. The first punch that was thrown in those riots... Um, Riots were created because the bar was stormed by police in the United States at the time they had regressive laws that said that you had to wear at least three items of clothing that were assigned to your gender, and if you didn't, you could be arrested. They routinely raided gay bars as a result. Um, so that's part of the history there. But the lesser known fact is the first punch that was thrown um, was by a trans rights activist, um, Marsha P. Johnston, um, was the first person, as I said, to throw the first punch. Um, they were a self-identified drag queen. Um, they... Uh, their history of how they identified I'll talk about in another video because I have a trans version of this um, paw coming up as well. So I haven't actually told you what this paw is yet, I don't think. Um, so it is a flower paw, but in the Bi Pride colours, which famously have black in them. They don't have black in them. The Bi Pride colours are um, blue, hot pink, and purple. But as an artistic choice to help the piece to and the colours to stand out, I decided to put black in. Kind of works, I think. Um, so yes, the I'm doing a piece based on a different Pride flag. I've done a few of these. Um, you'll be seeing a few of these videos coming out during Pride Month, um, where I will talk about my artistic process. But I'm also going to talk about the other fun bit of it, the history of the Pride flags, and also talking about some things around the history of the sexualities that the flags represent. So, just to get the boring bit out of the way, um, not really boring, um, the method that I've got there, I'm using multiple puddles to create different colour, um, coloured areas, and I have in this layered the colours differently. So I've got purple, pink, blue, um, blue, purple, pink, and I think pink, purple, blue, um, and I'm just putting another blob of colour in there because I want the um, colour to come into, as you can see on the, on your screen, the lower right hand side. I've got white all around and in between and going over um, just to brighten the colours up a little bit and to help them mix a little bit more really to make it pop as it were. Um, so I'm just going over there with the heat wand instead of a propane torch. For anyone who is dyspraxic or differently abled and having a mini flamethrower in your hands whilst doing fluid art isn't a good idea. A air, um, air heat wand works quite well. 
um, I have found, because dyspraxic, no, no, I'm not allowed a mini flamethrower, because flames. Um, so what I just did was use the vacuum, not the vacuum, the hairdryer, to go over the, to mix the colours together, push them together, and mix them a little bit. And now I am just blowing out to get the flower design, and this is going to be going on for a little bit, so while I'm doing that, let's talk about the inspiration for this. So it is the Bi Pride flag. Um, so the Bi Pride flag was created in 1998 by a wonderful bisexual artist called Michael, looking at my notes, there we go, um, Michael Page in 1998 to increase visibility of bisexuals among society as a whole and within the LGBT community. It was designed to be a flag just for the bisexual community um, to promote their visibility. Um, as stated, it was created copyright, license-free, so that anyone could use it for art, reproduce it, use it in pride parades, anything like that. Um, unfortunately, in, in the wonderful time during lockdown in 2020, um, an organisation, Binet USA, that Michael, I believe, was involved with at some point, claimed intellectual ownership of the flag, um, but that was just patently untrue. So it's just one of those things. But I'd be remiss to, you know, not mention there was some controversy over that. That lasted about a month and a half. Lots of it really mainly over Twitter. Um, unfortunately, that kind of did bring that organisation into disrepute. It was one of the oldest by organisations really in the world. Um, so yeah, that that's a thing that happened there. Um, what I'm doing here with my technique is I wanted the pink and the purple to show up a bit more. They hadn't, so I've put some more colour on and also paying attention to the overall design. I didn't want the flower going over the edge of the canvas, so I've just taken the leading edge of the that petal just at the top right-hand corner off. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to see me just fiddling around creating the overall design a little bit more, adding some more colour in here and there. Um, so yeah, the bi flag was created in 1998. Um, bisexuality is uh, the term bisexuality originated in the 1800s with a more binary idea of gender. And the idea was bisexuality is for if you're attracted to both male and female. At that time, transgender in Western society, so in Europe, um, particularly in Germany and some in America, wasn't understood as well as it is today. So the it was very much binary. You do male or female, you're attracted to both. And that was it. Um, the modern interpretation and definition of bisexuality is you are attracted to people who are male, female, or more than one gender. Um, so it's not a you're attracted equally to two genders. It's not that you're 
you know, 50% gay, 50% straight, you you can be attracted to different genders by different percentages. It doesn't even matter. The fact is, you're attracted to people of multiple genders. That is fine. That is your identity. And it is a beautiful thing that we are realising that the world is not just a binary construct. There are many different ways to experience gender. There are many different ways to experience sexuality. There are many different ways to love one another, to not love one another if you're, if the emotional attachment isn't there. And it doesn't all come down to sex either, which is also a wonderful thing for people to be realising. Um, I'm going to get off my soapbox because the video is about to end. Thank you for watching. There is going to be a pansexual flower coming out, a bi and pan kiss, and trans, and also the lesbian one coming out too during Pride Month. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Only nice comments, nasty ones just get, get gone. And see you next time. Bye-bye!